Lord. Ten seconds. Ten seconds is all it takes for Samar Khan to get back up on her feet after every time she falls. But it wasn't ten seconds every time. It used to be months, weeks, days. Every time I tried to st stand up, I got pushed by the questions like, why do you ride bike? What future do you carry with it? Will you bike for your whole life? Won't you get married? And these questions used to scare me a lot. These questions used to scare me a lot every time when I wanted to pursue something new, something big, but odd according to our social norms. Why? Because cycling and female are totally different things. Even at the time of my biggest breakthrough, becoming the first woman to ride on world third largest glaciers, when I was supposed to celebrate, celebrate my success, to inspire others, I was combating psychological ups and downs, hate campaigns, and illogical questions by people. And by people here, I don't mention only the ones who don't belong to sports or mountain biking, but also those officials who can flourish sports, who have all the rights and authority to nourish sports, but they do nothing except questioning. Why? Because I'm a female, I'm a woman. And unfortunately, in, in our part of the world, women don't have much options to grow. There were times when I cursed myself for choosing the wrong field. And at some point, I started believing that sports won't bring me a good career or a good life I, as I had no tool or equipment to flourish or to rise as an athlete or as a sportswoman as we see in other developed nations. No sponsors, no social acknowledgement, no team to sustain, not even a rich dad, nothing. So I grounded myself, I cried, shut all the doors of interaction with the world. And it took me a little while to realize that all those who were criticizing me, uh, mocking at me, had zero contribution in my life. They were not there when I needed them to guide me, to support me. They don't feed me, finance me. So why should I care about such people? It's just a background noise. And I knew this noise will be always there, so I had done something I did something which I have never done before in my life. I put my headphones on and I blocked the noise. And when I start focusing on myself and started believing on my abilities, what happened next? My work got acknowledged and sponsored by Pakistan Army. I went to my biggest expeditions to international lands and in December 2017, became the first Pakistani to ride up on the roof of Africa, Kilimanjaro. I was proud to bring the honor home as a female, as a woman, as a daughter. And I became resilient with time. Whatever I have achieved, whatever I have learned, I learned it the hard way. But I don't want our young generation, our young girls to face such challenges in order to grow 
or in order to follow their heart. So thanks to my mom to come up with such a creative name. I, uh, this year I, I come up with my sports initiative. It's called Summer Camp. And uh, under summer camp, women, children, our youth will be empowered through adventure sports. Not only I'll be able to produce athletes on national level, but also international. And I hope they will rise, they will work for their identity, and will become someday much better than Samar Khan. My work got acknowledged by U.S. Embassy recently, I, I got selected uh, in Global Sports Mentoring Program by U.S. Department of State. Got mentored by the top-notch sports executive of United States. My story got covered by ESPNW <coughs> and Voice of America. So what my point is, I don't ask uh, females to, to take up sports only or only ride bikes, but also choose the field which resonates with their heart. And doesn't matter if it's photography, if it's mountaineering, if it's kickboxing, if it's blogging, if it's art or politics. If you love your field, if you're focused on the outcome, doesn't matter how hard it is, nobody can stop you. And if I can belong to Lower Deer, Khaybar Pakhtunkhwa, rise from the modest family, and reach this day after losing my father, fighting the odds. If I can do this, so can you. Anybody can do anything. Because we, we cannot develop as a nation by leaving half the team off the playground. We need each and every one together. Our 52% population, we need them with us to make the impact. So all the ladies of Thar, of Pakistan, this goes to you. If you want to climb the mountain, if it makes you happy, if it brings the honor home, just do it. If you want to break the walls, do it. If you want to stand and challenge the social norms for the betterment of community, just do it. Because whatever doesn't kill us makes us stronger, like this. <laughs> Leaving you with the little teaser of my uh, recent expedition, Thank you so much.